It smells good in here. Our own conf cooking confidence coach, Nanny Bubby, is back in studio. Thanks to Chapman Automotive, the sponsors of this delicious segment. Today we are learning how to make homemade ricotta, ricotta cheese. Ricotta yeah, cheese. how do you like that? So the first oh thing gosh. is, uh-oh, it's coming to a rolling boil. I'm going to tell you what it is right after I put three tablespoons of white wine vinegar in there. Okay. Moving it off the heat. Okay, we're going to say, hey, Siri, set the timer for one minute, and we'll get back to it. But, Modern cooking. But what this, yes, and I'm told that everyone at home's phone. Starting now. There you oh, go. There we go. Um, so this has four cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream. Okay. Now, okay. I just want to say this. It always says heavy whipping cream, mm -hmm. and when I read recipes that said heavy cream, I went, oh, I can't find it. I can only find whipping cream. It is same the same thing. thing, okay? Good to know. All right. Good to know. So we are going to let this separate. It's okay. going to take a minute, All right. and the milk is going to separate, so the curds and the whey. Mm. And so that's what the whey is. It's the liquid, and you're going to see it in just a minute. You're, I can't believe you're making cheese right now. Right. <laughs> and what I want to tell you is you're going to get to, too, because what? this is the thing. This is so easy to make mm -hmm. that all, if you are a new cook and you want to impress, just yes. make this as an appetizer. Okay. Serve pizza and salad, but everyone is still going to think you're a genius, mm. okay? All Ricotta, right. Ricotta on my pizza is one right. of my favorite things. So it's going to firm up like this. Ooh, and what is this? Oh, here we go. Fabric here. Yeah. So did you get this shot of inside the curds and whey? And let me just show you what happens. I'm going to pour this mm. after a minute. We're going to pour that right into cheesecloth that's been that? dampened. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. And it's going to start draining. Okay. You're going to see in here. And what are these materials? The way this is a cheesecloth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, of course, cheesecloth. <laughs> no, what, what, what else would it be? Okay, <laughs> well, let it start draining. But see, this is the whey, okay. right? As in whey protein. Got to stop that watch. And this then leaves the curds, which look like this. Wow. So this is how it firms up. This now is ricotta cheese. I feel like I'm in Italy right Here, now. Here, hold this for this a second. Is, you are in Italy. I mean, You're in Nanny Bubby's Italy. Italy. This is okay. Las Vegas now. Yes. <laughs> okay. So putting this here. Okay. This is oh cheesecloth off. Oh, is that something that always happens? Yeah, always, yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful. Only when you're live like the TV cheese. does that happen. Okay, <laughs> so in here, just because I like to season it, we're going to mm -hmm. put a little bit of um, dill. Okay. 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 We're going to put a little bit of scallions Wonderful right here. Flavor. Yeah. And then we're going to, well, we're going to save that till later. What is, is that chai? That's um, basil, basil for after. So we're just going to mix this up. Look at that. Look how beautiful oh that is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Is that gorgeous? Wow. And I, and I normally see just ricotta cheese just plain, but this has some spice and seasonings in it. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, that's the key, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take this and just put it onto the platter. Now, do you see that what that is going to do is that is going to texture. Right. That is going to rest for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then okay. it's going to be all like this. It's going to be ready to literally lay out onto the platter. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, I know, and I wish you could oh eat it, too. So here's mm. the deal. This is my favorite kitchen tool, a tomato That's spike. cool. Done. What? what? They said? That's right. I'm taking that home. Now, yes, you <laughs> are. And we're just going to mix up that. I just Ooh, wanted you to see too. that. And we're going to just take this around. Oh, my goodness. Right? We're and just you see how simple that was? This is definitely an impressive dish for people if yes. you're hosting. And literally in 25 minutes, yeah. what we just made three minutes ago is ready to go. Now, this is fresh tomatoes mm. around the fresh and a slotted spoon so that you don't get, this has got oil and Too vinegar on it, it, right? And then I like to mix it up, so I roasted these tomatoes before I came. More texture. Yes, more texture, I love that. I'm learning. I like, yes. <laughs> I didn't even think to say that. That is fabulous, okay? So there we go. Wow. And now we're going to sprinkle the basil mm -mm -mm. onto the tomatoes. We've got 30 seconds, so I'm okay. gonna try yes, this. Yes, you are, and mm -mm. then we're going to take some French sea salt. Ooh. Got to wipe those hands. That's like the finishing touch yes, right there. Yes, there we yes, go. And now flavor. some bruschettas around it. Now you can eat, and if I need to read, oh I'll read. Gosh, this <laughs> is delicious. Check out Nanny Bubby's Kitchen and Garden, okay, on social media. Take the, take the rest, take the rest. Take and the rest. yeah, and say um, spread love like butter online at nannybubby.com. You can find the recipes. We also want to thank Chapman Automotive always for sponsoring this segment. Wow, this is delicious. JC, I'll send it to you. Looks oh so God. good. Thank you, ladies. The theater.